Hello everybody, Treno here, and welcome back to the Seek and Destroy dev server. And today we're taking a look at one of the new French vehicles, the Fextra 105, which is coming in at rank 6, battle rating 8.7, at the end of the light tank lineup, so after the AMX-10 RC. So this has got a 105mm gun like the AMX-10 RC, and it seems to have broadly the same stats, so it's got the same reload rate, and it seems to fire the same shells. Uh, this is despite it being a different gun, this is a GIT 105G1, uh, the AMX 10RC carries a model F2 cannon, unless it's just the same gun under a different designation. So you've got your standard heat FS shell with 350mm penetration, HE of 25mm, your smoke shell and your APFS DS round with 318mm at 500m. And it's got a reload rate of 9.7 seconds. And as you can see here, it's got a two-plane gun stabiliser and a targeting speed of 18 degrees in the horizontal and 4.5 degrees in the vertical, and you can carry 35 rounds for the weapon. Yeah, and the gun has got two times to ten times zoom. So, you know, pretty decently good, this weapon, by the looks of things. Commander's got ten times zoom optics as well, and you've got a 7.62mm Caraxel machine gun. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it, it carries a laser rangefinder or thermal or night vision devices, which seems a bit odd. You can use smoke grenades to help conceal yourself. And interestingly, you've got a camouflage net, which you can fit. Usually, that's only a thing for premium vehicles. So hopefully, we'll start seeing them rolled out to more, you know, regular free vehicles as well. Then moving on to the armor, it's aluminium alloy, but it seems decent enough. So 35 millimeters, but it's well sloped. So you've got about 120 millimeters to a about a little under 150 millimeters of uh, effective thickness. The lower hull front plate is only 50 millimeters and it's not particularly well sloped, so that's only about 80 to 90 millimeters effective thickness. The turret front isn't the best protected in the world either. Again, maxes out about 50 millimeters. You've got some uh, additional armor around the side of the turret, so it's 35 millimeters with 15 millimeters on top. And about the same for the uh, hull side. And then for the rear, again, 35 with 15 millimeters on top, while the rear of the hull is about 35 millimeters. So pretty decently well protected at the front against small caliber weapons and maybe even the odd uh, medium caliber weapon. Though, of course, regular tanks will easily go through that armor, but decently well protected for a vehicle of its type, in my opinion. And then you've got some more internal armor inside here. Now the speed's a bit weird because it's got a top speed of 75 miles per hour going forward on 10 gears or 27.1 miles per hour in reverse on 4 gears. And this is on a vehicle that weighs 34 tonnes. The uh, AMX 10RC weighs 16 tonnes. So this is double the weight of that and uh, it's a much faster vehicle. Although it has got a 531 horsepower engine, the AMX 10RCs is only 248 so yeah, even though the weight's double and the engine power's double, it's got a much, much faster speed. But yeah, obviously that's a good thing for the vehicle. And then inside you've got your crew of four, you've got your driver at the front here, then you've got your loader, gunner and commander. And you can see some of the new damage modules that have been installed. So you've got the FCS that can be damaged and you've got your power system at the back here, which again, if that's destroyed, you lose the uh, fire control system, gun stabilizer and the radar. Apparently this thing has a radar on it somewhere, unless that's just for any vehicles that have a radar. And then lastly, you can use a scout UAV for spotting enemies with this vehicle. And so, yeah, this seems like a pretty good vehicle. It's a very good end to the French light tank lineup. But it's only 0.3 of a battle rating higher than the AMX 10RC. And for that, you get fairly good armor and a very fast vehicle. So, yeah, I think this will be pretty popular amongst French players. Unfortunately, I can't test drive it myself because I haven't got this far enough on the French tech tree, which is a shame, but hopefully someday in the future I'll be able to unlock it. Anyway, just a quick video looking at the Fextra 105. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.